Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a good day. It's the middle of the week. It's gone very fast already and I haven't got enough done. <laughs> I say that. I did four whole builds yesterday, massive builds, and I still have like three to do today. So I have been productive, but it's just not enough hours in the day it seems. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, welcome in. Welcome back if you are a regular and welcome in if you're new here. Um, today we are working on another custom build. It is a massive suburban home. Um, it's for three sims, funnily enough, even though it's huge, um, <laughs> but you can fill it as you wish. Um, it is a five bedroom house. Um, there isn't any, there's actually one bedroom. I forgot to include that. Silly me. I've put it as a five bedroom. It's a six bedroom, I think. <laughs> you can tell I've done so many builds. My brain is just fried, guys. Um, but yeah, I've got five builds in the main building and one on the annex building on the side, I do believe. Um, but yeah, it is for three sims, two parents and a toddler boy, um, but you could fill it up as you please. Um, I wanted to make sure that we had like an annex building because I felt like the space kind of like needed something. Um, it did take me quite a few hours to do this, but it was a really fun build to do. Um, it's funny how when I speed it up, I'm like, how is that down to like two and a half minutes? It took me like eight minutes to film it. How I did that in eight minutes, I will never know, but <laughs> I think doing the exterior of the house, I'm kind of like a wizard at now. When it comes to the interior, that's what takes me ages, but the exterior of the houses don't take me too long, fortunately. But, um, I do absolutely adore doing suburban style exteriors. It's my favorite thing in the world, honestly. Like doing the outside of this house was like, just, I'm in my element, you know? I just adore it. <laughs> like I said before, I think it's because I spent so long doing um, base game homes, exteriors for them, then I'm kind of like used to doing the bare minimum on the outside. So like now that I can use packs, it's like even better, you know? So. I think that definitely helped me in my building journey. Um, I'm just adding in some terrain paint now. I do end up changing this because I didn't like how it looked. Um, I changed it for loads of little pathways, which I think look quite cute because it looks like a tiny little village. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of my Sylvanian families when I was little. I don't know whether any of you guys had them, but um, the little animal figurines that I used to play with, little doll houses, um, and I used to create little fences out of paper and they would have like little families in their cars and they go to the shops and they have like this shopping basket and it was just adorable. Um, so as much as some people are like, oh, it's like playing Barbies. I'm like, it's like playing Sylvanians for me, but just digitally. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really like it. I like what it turned down. I like that it's not, I mean, it is massive, but like, again, like I always say, I like it when they're big homes, but they're still playable. And I think that's kind of what I go for in these big builds that I do. I don't want to make them too big because sometimes I'm like, it's just too much and it doesn't get, it's not so enjoyable then. I don't know what I wanted to say then. <laughs> doesn't get, um, but yeah, it's not so enjoyable when you've got like loads going on. Um, as you can tell, <laughs> I change it for pathways now, but I think it's really cute. It reminds me of like a little Christmas village. I don't know why. <laughs> I've been watching too many Disney films, honestly. <laughs> um, but yes, now we're just working on some extra outside details. I did change the fence in because I realised that the person didn't have the um, Strangerville pack that I was using for the original um, fence in. So that is why we changed it. I've got a bit of an obsession with these trees. Those little ones that I keep minimising them. I love the different scales. And you can like downsize them. They look like a completely different tree. I just really like it. It's kind of more like a shrub, but like, you know what I mean. Um, I swear my landscaping always looks the same, but it just works for me, so that's what I do. Um, they could really do with bringing out some new base game um, furnishings, <laughs> landscaping. I always use the same things over and over and it'd be nice to have something a bit different, um, but yeah, I do like how it turned out. That was very loud, loud bike outside. Anyway, did you guys see the new update yesterday with the new um, backpacks and toilet doors and little wall icons? I think they're adorable. Oh, and the lunch boxes. The lunch boxes that match the backpacks is just adorable. I haven't actually played with them yet, so it'd be fun to play with them, um, but I thought they were really cute. Um, I love that they match. I think I already said that, but I just really do. <laughs> I have the little watermelon one and the um, the void critter 
backpack as well, I think it's really cute. And the fact that the books inside match the given backpack as well, I just think it's a really nice extra little touch. Um, I'm really hoping that they bring out the new kit soon because as much as I adore The Sims and I love everything about it, um, I wish I could buy more. <laughs> like, I build so much, it'd be nice to have new items every now and again. Um, I know we did just have Horse Ranch, but I need more. <laughs> just obsessed with building so i'm looking forward to the new kits because then i can add more content to my game and build with those as well so that'll be exciting to have more variety for my sanity because i build every single day and i just want more stuff <laughs> and if it was there i would buy it but i've got everything <laughs> well i don't have um journey to batu but i just don't really like star wars so but other than that i have everything it has taken me how many years? Um, nine years to collect everything. So, <laughs> a long term, but it's worth it. And I really, really adore the kits. I don't know why they are so like underrated. I just think, you know, it's, they're only like five pounds to us Brits and it's just so worth it. Like 4 99 for extra clutter any day. <laughs> like I get for like people who do gameplay and, um, Cass is not as worth it, I guess. Well, I suppose Cass is because some of the um, Cass packs are great, but for gameplay, it's not really relevant. Um, but I do really like it as a builder, so I definitely recommend the kits personally. Um, any clutter kit, the bathroom clutter kit is my favourite, and the fact that Sims shared my bathroom on their account on Instagram is still one of the highlights of my year. <laughs> so I definitely recommend it. I really like it. Um, but anyway, um, we're now working on the kitchen. It did take me quite a while to try and fiddle around with these counters. It drove me insane, not gonna lie. Um, it just wasn't matching up. I don't know why it wasn't clipping correctly. I don't actually know what the problem was, but we left it like that. It's fine. Um, so yes, considering it's such a big house, it was quite a small kitchen, but I quite like that. I don't like it when it's like too big, you know? I kind of prefer to have like a big lounge space so they can have all the kids in there and the family can expand if they want to and they've got like a, a smaller lounge area for them like the adults to hang out and then also a kiddie area as well so I thought it was quite nice um, I'm just working on the main lounge now but this is for the um, children to play in as well and um, we do have a music section in the corner with a grand piano I did include two pianos at first but then I realized that one of the pianos was from a kit that the person didn't have not kit an expansion pack um, kits are just on my mind <laughs> um, so I did end up deleting that and put in a bookshelf there instead but we still keep a grand piano and I quite like this little music section I kind of feel like when you've got these big homes you need to like space it out well you know you've got to have like your little zones of activity so it doesn't get boring in a particular room or you just don't avoid a particular room because I definitely have done that in the past <laughs> So I'm just working on correcting my mistakes in the past and making them look better and more functional and more enjoyable to play in. So that is what I did. Um, so yes, the bookshelf that is on that wall ends up on the left side where the other piano is because they didn't have growing together. So that is what I did there. Um, I did include a little um, doll's house and some teddies and some nesting blocks for the toddler. Um, of course, if you downloaded this yourself, you could have more children here and add more toys. Um, I didn't want to add too many toys because there is only one child here, so I don't feel like it would be like overly cluttered. Um, but yeah, and then this room that we're working on now is for the adults. I really like this room. I think it's like a perfect size for a lounge. Um, sometimes they're a bit too big or too small, like the other room's a bit big, but I think it filled up nicely. However, I much prefer playing in more functional rooms like this, and I like the way it looks. I think the colour swatches are pretty, and yeah. Um, I personally did find this build a bit difficult because the person didn't have the packs that I usually use the items from, so it was a bit of a challenge for myself to try and find new things that would work in a style that I liked, but I still like how it turned out. Um, as usual, I don't really add much colour to my builds, I quite like the neutral shades, I like black and white and beige and touches of green and little lights. Um, that is just what I do in real life, so that's kind of what I incorporate into my builds, but I do really like how they turned out. I decided to include a little office area in here as well because upstairs I wanted to be solely for bedrooms. Um, we do have the master bedroom, the toddler's bedroom. We've got two spare rooms which you could change into 
um, more children's rooms if they chose to expand or if you chose to play this yourself you could change them into kids rooms but this person only had one little boy so I just left them as spare bedrooms so you could have guests over or roommates or something if you chose to do that as well so there are two um, spare bedrooms which are just double beds there is one downstairs as well actually now that I'm thinking about it um, so there is five bedrooms in the main building and there's one in the other building so there's six bedrooms all together good maths there Laura <laughs> as if anyone couldn't have worked that out um, <laughs> But yes, there is another bedroom in at the downstairs and it's a bit more of like a studio room. Um, the father of this household is a um, YouTuber or like a streamer. So he's got his own little studio in the annex building upstairs. But we'll get to that later on. Um, but I did include some equipment in that bedroom because I kind of feel like it's also another spare bedroom that you could turn into something else if you wanted to. Um, but he keeps his like, extra tech stuff in there, you know, it's kind of the vibe I was going for. Um, I did include a little playroom here, again, it's not very messy, it's not very cluttered because you've only got one little boy, um, so you could include more at some point if you wanted to, but for now it was just as simple as could be and as cosy. Um, I didn't want to make it too overcrowded because there was no need to really. Um, this is the master bedroom that has an ensuite bathroom, um, I don't think I recorded any of the bathrooms maybe one of them. Um, I try not to do the bathrooms on camera anymore because they always tend to look the same. <laughs> I do try to make them look a bit different but I just don't really enjoy doing the bathrooms so I tend to just try and do them quickly and then focus my energy on making the bedrooms and the kitchen etc in um, a better style than <laughs> more original not just the same. I really like this um, piece of artwork, the pinky one, I think it looks really nice in that bedroom, which I haven't used before, I think it's from Strangerville. Um, I need to use more Strangerville items. I have used them a bit more lately, Strangerville and Werewolves are ones that I don't actually use that often, but they have got really nice stuff in there, so I need to look into that a bit more because it's really good stuff and I just haven't really explored it as much as I should have, so it will be my project for my next build. <laughs> I have... Um, a shell build to do tonight and I've got two fully finished builds and they're both massive so that'll be fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing one because it's a similar style to this one that I'm working on right now but um, one of them is very modern and the other one is kind of a, a funky shape so we'll see how that gets on but I am looking forward to it so that'll be fun. Um, so yes. I am going to end the voiceover here for today guys, um, I did upload another video this morning of an abandoned home which is also a custom build so be sure to check that out if you would like to um, and yes I have lots of editing to do and lots to be getting on with so I will see you guys probably tomorrow I'm gonna try and do a let's play episode because I have finally finished Lena and Hallie's house so that'll be exciting to finally get back into that. It's literally been like two or three weeks, like a shocking, it's probably been three weeks. So I don't want to just let that go because I am really looking forward to it. So I will probably start with that tomorrow and then I'll have another build on um, Friday, most likely. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section and I hope you all have the most wonderful day. And I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.
worth the time Run away with me I'll make you feel alright Run away with me And I'll be good this time Some 